Hi everyone, I'm Adrian from the CMT Association in India. And we at the CMT Association have been building quite a vibrant community on Discord. So what we thought would be the most effective way to get everyone onto Discord and get them familiar with the platform is to do a quick tutorial and let you know exactly how you can access all the various groups, rooms that the CMT Association have created. So I've got Mohit here, one of our key volunteers at the CMT Association, and he's going to take you through everything you need to know to figure out Discord. Mohit, over to you. Uh, hi, Adrian. So thanks for this. So as you all would receive an uh, invite to a Discord session for exam discussion, and you will have an invite link for the Discord. So before that, I would like to explain what is Discord. Discord is a community platform where we all can chat. We all can voice chat and share our opinions. And it's a very versatile platform. Uh, so let me get started with what is Discord. To know what is Discord, you can just go to your browser and type Discord, D-I-C-O-R-D dot com. And this is the browser page. Okay. So Discord is a application just like any other application. It's available on the browser. It's up level, available as a software on the PC, on Android, on iOS, Linux, everything, right? So for our next session where Adrian will be uh, sending you an invite to the uh, you know exam session. It will have a Discord invite link to the CMT Association server. So you will receive an invite like this. I'm just typing it. So this is your invite link. Go.cmtassociation.org/discord. When you punch it into your address bar in your browser you will get the invite from the cmt association just like this so you have to accept invite okay it already shows that 945 members are in the server basically the community and 36 are online so we will accept the invite okay and since i am already a member it gives me direct interface to the Discord on the browser itself. So let me show you uh, uh, another way that if I am not logged in, how things will work. So just to repeat, This was the invite link. And once you get, you will receive this page. So you will be asked to select a username. You can select any username you like and you can change it later. So not a problem. You can select any username like mine is Mohit X7. Okay. And then you can proceed. If you have already an, made an account on Discord, you can click here and directly log in and it will lead you to the Discord server. So if I click continue here, it asks me to create an account and I can just proceed. And yes, yeah, so it, it leads me to a registration process. You, you have to complete this registration process and you are in the server after the registration process. So there would be a mobile number verification involved in this process. Uh, let me show you. So if I select my first, so it it asks me to uh, register an email password. Okay. So you can proceed to this, and I'll still try to use a sample email. So use a strong password. Oops. Okay. Okay. 
right? So it asked me to verify my email and also by phone. So you will have to do both the things together. And once you are done, you are in the server. Okay. So I'm right now logging out and I log in with my actual. Uh, so I've also installed Discord on my machine and I will show you how the interface looks from the software uh, application installed application on the on the PC. So this is the CMT server. Okay, this is how it looks and uh, You will see a lot of text channels on the left and you will see a lot of voice channels on the left. On the right, you will see all the online members. So basically, once you enter the server, you will have a welcome message from Joel Panicot. You will see all the online members on the right. And you will have certain text channels which are only for read only purpose they are informational channels and you will have our general discussion channels you can ask queries okay so, so for any session which we conduct to have an interactive session over voice you will be asked to join a specific voice channel the name will be provided so there are currently two voice channels like lobby or ic knowledge zone which is the investment challenge knowledge zone so i just need when i have come to the, when i've entered the server i just need to come and click here and i'm in, in the voice channel so as and when others enter this voice channel this list will populate and we can hear and talk to others so now i have exited the voice channel to see your audio settings i would request that you know you click this down button which is a settings button and click here on voice and video and make sure your input device and output device is correctly selected so that you can easily hear and talk to us so this is the basic idea of the discord so that the community can in discuss and interact with all the CMT charter holders, all the candidates uh, in level one to level three. We have separate chat channels, uh, text channels, uh, which is a CMT members area. So we have level one candidates chat, level two, level three segregated so that the discussion can be segregated for each exam purpose for each gr group of students. And we also have a separate voice channel for the candidates to have a session with themselves. This is not a fixed number of lists. We can always increase voice channels to support you for any sort of a discussion process. So this is a basic intro to the uh, Discord interface. So now I'm trying to show you how we have to use Discord on your mobile. So Discord is an app. It's available on the Play Store. If you type D-I-S-C-O-R-D, -S you will get Discord. Okay, you need to install this app. I have already installed it. So I will go ahead and open it. And if I, I see something like this, uh, so what you have to do is just swipe towards the right and you will see on the left the kind of servers you have joined. So we need to click here, which is the CMT server. Okay, the moment I click, I go to general TA chat. So this is similar to what we see in, on a web browser or on the software on the PC. So if I need to go to other text channels, I just need to swipe right and then scroll here and look on the text channels uh, on the left. So we have general TA chat, ask general queries. We can also see our CMT members area where we have made uh, open discussion channel. So moment I click this, it comes here. If I go on to a level one candidate channel, we come to all that discussions level one candidates and other uh, experts are having. So even charter holders, other uh, level candidates are interacting amongst each other. So the segregation is just for convenience so that you know the relevant topics can be discussed 
and these uh, text channels are again as i told you that uh, they are flexible we can increase them as per our needs and you can see the voice channel here so even if i click on the ic knowledge zone here which is a voice channel you can see the icons next to the channels if it's a hashtag it's a text channel okay this, this is the one i'm saying if it's a voice channel it's a kind of an audio icon okay so in text channels you can chat in voice channels you need to click on them and you will enter you will it the app last to join via voice you can join join via voice or via a video so if i click on join voice i'm in now and it i'm the only person here so that's why you can see only me i can mute myself i can even deafen myself if i don't want to here i can listen to this call via speaker or phone because while talking to others you want to listen speaker so this is the option okay and you can even share your screen via this button okay and you can share your video via this button all right so once you're done with the call you have to just exit it, the call by pressing disconnect on the right okay this red button that's it and so any text channel you want to follow you have to just click on the text channel and you will see all the messages all the discussions going on in this text channel if you swipe one more to the right you will see all the online members and all the online members have been segregated as per their roles okay so this is the role uh, as per your candidate level as per the cmd charter holders you can see so with us is online uh, a candidate level two three people are online investment challenge uh, participants are online and then if you scroll right you can see the chat window and all the text channels if you want to go and see your account you can click this button check your user id okay this is your user id you can change your initials uh, before the hashtag if you want and uh, you can also see your friends you can search to in server okay and you can even see who has mentioned your name so in discord there is a unique thing that if you can if you mention anybody's name via using at the rate that person receives a specific notification of the message from your end which is a very important feature while ha handling such a big community because for not not for every message you would want to receive a notification but in case if you are let's say a level two candidate you would want to receive all the notifications you can al always long press level two candidates and go into notification settings and want to and you can click all messages which might be crucial during the exam days so this is a short intro how the discord session works and uh, okay so there is one more important feature if you inst make an account and register via discord uh, on the mobile app you need not do it, do a repetition and risk making a duplicate account on the web browser or the or the desktop software as well so what i would recommend is once you have logged in to discord via mobile so what you have to do is as i told in um, uh, you you have to just use that invite link go.cmtassociation.org slash discord and that will lead to this browser okay uh, sorry to this app and you will be in the cmt server so once you are in okay let's say you're in like this so press the three line button here okay you see all the interface and here on the bottom you see your name your account click here go to the scan qr code thing click on this and you can scan your you know let me show you this way sorry so so you can probably uh, go to discord.com i mean i cannot show you both screens at the same time because it okay so you have to do this uh, I mean, it's a simple process scanning the QR. So the, so the Discord 
website or the software will show you a QR code. If you scan the QR code from your mobile, both logins will be same on both the platforms without creating any duplicate plat uh, du duplicate uh, user IDs actually. So this was a short video uh, on how to set up Discord and use it for all the interactions uh, with all the members of the CMT community. Uh, thank you. Thanks a lot, Mohit. Hey guys, I hope this video actually helps you all to familiarize yourselves with Discord a bit. Of course, if you'll need any more help, you all can reach out to us. And we're looking forward to seeing all of you on Discord. Goodbye.